I'm here at the Wood Innovation and Design Center, one of the tallest modern wooden buildings in the world. During the 2015 Canada Winter Games, it's also the headquarters of the broadcast and media. Now let's go take a look around at just what makes this building so special. The construction of the Wood Innovation and Design Center started back in the spring of 2013, and one man knows what a symbol it is of British Columbia. Really, this building, at least from my perspective, came about as a sh let's showcase different ways we can use BC wood products. And so it was really to, to be a showcase uh, building for that. Promoting the system for the next class of wooden engineers is Guido Wimmers, who understands that this format of construction is just in the early goings. It starts a new process for our industry in BC and across Canada to build larger and taller buildings uh, with wood. So uh, it is the beginning of a learning curve how to use wood in a larger scale, uh, not just in small residential, but also for commercial buildings. While this isn't the only wooden structure in the world, it is cutting edge in a modern way. There are a lot of very tall buildings in the world and a lot of them are wood. Um, a lot of them are old churches with really tall steeples or bridges or other structures like this. Um, now what we're seeing and what this building is part of is sort of a modern renaissance of, of wood construction. Creating buildings out of wood materials is also benefiting the environment in some ways. If you design buildings out of wood, you actually um, capture carbon and sequest carbon in the structure. With, with concrete buildings, you're actually emitting carbon. Earthquakes have been in discussion lately with the big one being a cause for concern. Having a rigid wooden box as the core could cause some issues, but the building was designed with earthquakes in mind. One of the techniques that was used here was the joint between that really rigid wooden box, the central core, and the concrete foundation is actually made with steel. And it's designed such that that steel connection is what will uh, yield. That's where the, the um, flexibility, as it were, comes in between those two rigid pieces, the concrete and the wooden box. Going forward, there are a number of possibilities with wooden structures. The columns, as the one you can see behind me, is certainly a little bit thicker than the column would have been in steel. But it can still carry huge loads, and therefore we can build much taller and, and uh, larger structures in wood as well. As an innovative structure, it's pushing the boundary, both of what we can do in terms of for construction, but also in terms of what's able to be achieved within the confines of the building code. In 2016, these hallways will be filled with UNBC engineering students as they learn to construct the newest generation of wooden buildings. And thanks to their hard work, we might be seeing more structures like this one built in nearby communities. Ryan Lepper for Canada Games TV Today.